so we're introducing the if statement here um, because the variables within um, the uh, microbits block editor um, uh, are restricted just to numbers. It is a uh, sort of relatively uh, straightforward affair of using uh, the uh, the is, if, else, if, and else. Um, so I've uh, just pepped it up a little bit by providing um, sort of different buttons uh, that add and decrease uh, the counter. Um, and then if you press both buttons, it then runs uh, this if. Um, so I will uh, sort of, uh, again, sort of quickly show this being uh, built up. Um, so I can sort of provide a running commentary First of all, I want to create uh, a variable uh, which I am going to set to zero. And I am going to call that counter because it counts up and down. Or if it's Sesame Street, obviously it'll be called the count. And this block will actually be run uh, the first time um, as soon as I press run uh, on the microbit. So it's like an initialization script. Um, however, these inputs uh, only occur when something um, uh, is uh, happens from the outside world, so on button press. And uh, we've got a slightly different item here. It's very scratch-like um, where we can change uh, something and then I can duplicate show number. And that sets up my button A, and I can then duplicate this block. And this is what programming is all about, is reuse of components, and have it so that it does um, a minus one. So let's give that a try. Run that. And you can see it counts up, and it counts down, and it counts up. And if we go past zero, it will then show minus one and then minus two. And if we press the A button a couple of times, it then goes up and then plays it. So let's uh, let's get it working so that when you press the A B button, and we can go into the logic section and drag over our if. And at this point, um, people sort of say, well, how do I get my else and then my else if up? And this is what this little wheel is for. Uh, so um, we know that uh, if we're going to do a comparison, say whether it's less than zero or zero, uh, that we're going to need an else if and an else. And you can see how they just sort of change within this main block. Once you've got what you need, uh, you just press this wheel away. Um, I know it says do here. If do is not normal, not by any stretch of the imagination. However, at this time, we've not persuaded uh, the BBC um, uh, to, uh, to change it. Um, however, in some respects, syntax does vary slightly between different uh, computer languages. Um, uh, it's not ideal, but uh, at the moment, the do is here to stay. Anyway, let us put in uh, uh, an evaluation in here. So uh, we are going to go into logic and we are going to drag over a comparison block and we are going to say if counter is, oh, I fell into the wrong bit. There we go, drag these round. If counter is less than zero, let's just get it to show m for minus. Don't type anything you like in there. Um, else, and again, the power of coding, we can just say if counter equals zero, duplicate, and we shall get it to put z for zero. And if it's not less than zero and it's not equal to zero, then we can reasonably assume that it's a positive number, so we can do P for positive. And we can run that. And we can count up. And this is the AB button, and it says positive, right? So we count down to zero, and you expect zero. We count down again, we get minus one. And when we press AB, it says minus. Fantastic, job done. 
So, in the next segment, we will be looking at Boolean logic. So, it's saying if this is true and this is true, then do something, or if this is true or this is true, do something, uh, so, and inversing the way that we, uh, we look at things. Uh, again, very important uh, concepts um, that uh, are required for basic uh, programming skills.